Oasis TV, the network in service to humanity. Stress kills. Now, so many people will ask you about the book and say, you know, oh, I have stress, ha ha. You know, well, guess what? Cancer, heart disease, and stroke are all stress related. So, when we choose to express ourselves, we go through a kind of a spiritual energy transformation every time we choose to go from, from hate to love. And so, in a sense, any negative emotion is a judgment of I don't like something, mm -hmm. it's unpleasant to me. So, you can actually make that step, breathing in. My anger is telling me I hate it when, my fear is telling me I hate it when, and my sadness is telling me I hate it when. And you're kind of mobilizing yourself then to say, and that's because I'd love it better if. And then that doesn't make the circumstances change, but it changes your focus, and then you can move toward what you might want. Well, it sounds like it's even empowering to know that we have a choice, because I know sometimes when I'm upset, it feels like there is no choice, but if we stop oh, that's so important. and use your techniques, it just reminds us we always have a choice of how we react to something. Maybe not the circumstance, uh, but we do have a choice of how we react to it. Epictetus, uh, back in the 5th century BC, said that uh, men are disturbed not by things, but by the views they take of them. Yeah. So that choice, it's what the shamans have been saying for centuries, the Mayan shamans that I study with as well, that we want to get back to that true power, uh, reclaim the power that we didn't have as a child in a situation, and in a current life situation as an adult, our boss may be triggering a helplessness in us that we felt as a child, which then goes into fight or flight. I want to tell him I want to raise, but he'll fire me. And you can't do it because you're full of either the rage or the, and the fear. And so returning to that peaceful power of love, of being able to move toward what we love in that situation is really, that's where it, it really becomes important. You know, not the false power of controlling somebody else, but just coming back to your peaceful power.